name is Hobbs, and you're watching the Underground Bunker on Blood Rock Media. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. At the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. So he went back over the mountain to see what he could see. At the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of The Underground Bunker, brought to you by the Veterans Administration. This is what 12 years of surgeries looks like, and fuck it. Not gonna let it stop me. You guys know what this is. It's a weekly web series where I showcase unsigned and underground bands that I think you ought to be paying attention to. Bands that really got cojones. They have the je ne sais quoi, they have gumption, they got balls, they got... They got it. And uh, I love talking about music like that, no matter what the genre. So I cover every genre. Well, all well, but country music. We won't. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I got. Uh, I'm, in, I'm. I'm. I'm in La La Land, thanks to the VA's uh, <laughs> pharmacy dispensary. And uh, so yeah, let's do a show. All right. This week we're starting out with a band whose genre I really don't get to talk about a whole lot because I really don't hear a lot. Uh, I really don't hear a lot about it, um, and so I'm going to talk about it right now. These guys are called Monolith. <laughs> Doom metal. Don't get to talk. Ugh. Don't get to talk about that very often because we don't get a whole lot of doom metal at uh, Blood Rock. You would think that we would get more than we do, but on our current uh, wait list, we might have six or seven out of two hundred bands. I, I think. So yeah, we don't get. We totally guys. If you have are in a doom metal band or you know a doom metal band, please reach out and let us know because we don't get enough good stuff. And anyway, that said. I didn't even get these guys off our list. I actually found them on Bandcamp. They are a doom metal band from France. And there's another country you do not get a whole lot of music from for some stupid reason. Or certainly, certainly not in the United States. These, guy, these guys started in 2001. And to date, they have released seven full-length albums, two EPs, and two compilation discs. So yeah, they guy, these guys work their butts off, as you can see. Now here's where it gets interesting for me. I don't know if, and, and, and I don't know if this was always their way. I can only hope, but their music reminds me of a mix be between me sorry, that's lots of pain. Uh, the music reminds me of a mix between Machina Supremacy from who are from Germany and. Dimu Borgir, who you probably know of. And it's kind of this weird amalgamation of um, uh, sort of CPD kind of video game-ish sounds, which probably isn't the direction they chose to go in. Um, but it's a weird, it's a weird mix of electronic and doom uh, and like black death doom metal stuff. And usually I don't like that kind of thing, but I really, really dug the album. Now, they're not doing anything right now. They are gearing up for shows, I believe, in the spring um, to, in support of their newest album, which is called Nebula Septum. And I've listened to the whole thing, and I really, really think you should check it out, especially if you're into the doom metal thing. Uh, but even if you're into electronica kind of stuff, I think you, this is this is something that will at least peripherally be up your alley. So do give it a listen, and if not, just go to the Facebook page and observe the band. They are called Manlith with an E. Go look. This next band is another band that uh, you know I heard on a lark, and they immediately caught my ear. Uh, put simply, they are called the Shell Corporation. I've really been trying to cover more punk on this show because the, the punk is another genre we do not get a whole lot of at Blood Rock, so I actively search it out, especially lately. And uh, thanks to Bandcamp, where there is just a treasure trove of all kinds of music, um, I have found another punk band which I really, really, truly like in the Shell Corporation. I love the name, by the way, guys. Super, super perfect name 
uh, and it's it's very apt of the sound, which I will get to. They are, for now, they are a four-piece punk band from the great San Fernando Valley in California, which isn't all that great. I'm sorry, guys, but it's not. I've been there. Yeah. They got their start in 2011 and have been roaring pretty, pretty consistently since. And, um, and, you know, doing their best. Don't have the following which I think they should have. Uh, even in California where people, you know, will like Facebook pages simply to be cool. They don't have the following I think they should have, which is kind of sad. Um, but that said, I mean, it hasn't taken away from their work ethic, which as you can see, is up there with uh, some of the better bands in the world. I was immediately enthralled with these guys because their sound is reminiscent of very old punk music, which I really, really like. And I'm talking like older than like Blink-182. Their sound reminded me of a nice, very, very professional amalgamation of bands like Sum 41 and Old Pennywise which really, really struck a chord with me, pun intended. Now, they fall very comfortably within the core foundations of punk music in that, uh, and this is where I said that their name is very of the sound, they fall within the core of the foundations of punk in that they are very politically um, versed. They definitely take a political stance uh, on, you know, against, you know, against government control, and, you know, that's punk for you, which, you know, and they, they actually make it sound pretty good. They have a couple of gigs lined up, but these guys are actually jumping the pond. They're going to go to Europe in May and June and uh, see what that's all about, and I really think they'll do well there, guys. I hope, I hope you do. Their current album is called Kumbaya. It dropped very recently. I highly recommend that you go listen to it on their Bandcamp page, but also go to Facebook page and give them a like. Segway. This next band that I'm going to bring to you is kind of odd because from looking at them, they could easily be in that prehistoric scene in Kung Fury. Uh, if you've ever seen that movie, these guys are called Hamka. talking about bands like this because they immediately add sort of a weird ser serene sense of beauty while at the same time being metal and melodic metal you know especially when it's female fronted melodic metal sort of has to do that and sometimes and sometimes it can seem shoehorned uh, these guys don't do that they're they they did it really really well they are a four-piece melodic band from France although their singer Elisa happens to be from Spain which I love Spain. Spain produces some seriously good music and a lot of the students in schools there have to go through um, singing courses, which I think is very, very cool. There's not enough of that in the world. I think arts should be priorities in schools again. I'm off topic. They started in 2004. I believe they had another singer a while ago, but Elisa is very, very well, uh, is, is very, very well added to the band sound and having been around for that long they've certainly produced their fair share of albums their newest one is called multiversal which i actually reviewed on the website and gave it a four out of five it's well worth listening to now they're not doing anything right now and unfortunately they're not giving a whole lot of details as to what they are doing on their facebook page but i do hope that they're gearing up for a tour because they should be as i said the current album is multiversal it dropped in december i highly recommend that you pick it up uh, also, do check out their Facebook page. Check them out. Segway. The next group I'm going to talk about is a group from a genre that I've actually never even talked about before. I've never covered a band like this on the website, and I've never talked about them on the show, because a lot of the music that I hear out of this stuff is derivative and trying too hard. These guys are not that. This is MGT. Oh, Like I said, I don't get much into goth rock, and it's not because I don't like it, it's just that it's very difficult to pick out groups that don't sound similar, and it's in that respect that 
you know, I just don't get a lot of it, and I, I wish I did because I do like I do like a lot of the bands, just you know, older bands, and like I said, a lot of the bands end up inadvertently sounding like Depeche Mode or Joy Division or anything like that. These guys managed to not do that, and I was really, really pleasantly surprised. Now they're a two-piece. They're they're basically a two-piece band that hire that that gets two other guys to play live with them, as you can see. Um, so it's two people that sort of work on the music together in a studio, and then whenever they go out and do tours, they get to two other live uh, music players to play with them. Now I can't be sure, but I'm pretty sure that they started in 2015 because they released their first album in 2016. I listened to their most recent album, and all I can say is that. It is a very, 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 very welcome and refreshing mix of of him, which I never liked, and like Alien Sex Fiend, old, old goth rock that uh, sort of, well, it, the, the singer couldn't sing to save his life, but it was that sort of weird mix of sex and death, and these guys have that. And the guy's voice is very kind of like this, and, you know, it's brooding, but at the same time says, come fuck me in an alley. And, uh, oh yeah, totally, totally cool stuff. Now, one thing about bands these days is it's very difficult to get out on the road, and these guys are managing to do that. It doesn't matter that these guys have all been in, that have been in bands before that have toured. It's tough to tour, no matter how famous you are or have been. But these guys are going on tour this week. And in that respect, I highly recommend that you do go out and watch them. Because as you can see, they are no slouches on stage. Their current album is called Gemini Night. That's N-Y-T-E. It was released on February 23rd. Uh, you can listen to the whole thing on Bandcamp, which I highly recommend that you do. And other than that, check them out on the Facebook and the dot com. Blah, 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 blah. And do go see them on tour. They are worth it. And uh, yes... MGT. Segway. I really have no words to describe this band. I've got it written down here, and it really doesn't do any justice whatsoever. Ever. Um, <laughs> these guys are called Expander. So they're a four-piece metal band out of what you know, out of Austin, Texas, and apparently they have been there since 1156. <laughs> I have been waiting to talk about these guys. Uh, <laughs> they were one of the first bands that I reviewed on the website uh, on bloodrock.com and ever since I got the show I've actually been they've been on my list that I kept actually having to move back because I would discover bands that I immediately wanted to talk about at the time. That said, these guys are no slouches. However, I have no way to describe them and certainly no genre to comfortably put them in. It's safe to say at what they actually told me and I'm gonna read it word for word because they wanted me to tell you this <clears throat> uh, they told me to tell you your sons and daughters are fucked in the year of 2084 through the mass enslavement via mechanized death canals incorporated by the endless computer and sister of the red witch we have seen the future and it can be changed but only through the acceptance and dissemination of the knowledge and mission directives we are exposing to the public during our limited time in the past. Do with that information what you will. I am going to run. They are just this weird mix of all different kinds of metal styles. And like I said, I cannot fit them comfortably into any one genre. The whole time I was listening to the album, I was basically uh, being assaulted by sound, by noise, and it was awesome. A band like this can get annoying after a while, but they didn't. And over the course of the album that I was listening to, they reminded me of Guar and Venom and then In Vitro, which if you've ever heard of them, it was one of the... Uh, the bands that Mikey Doling from Snot was doing after Lynn Strait died, th they were just kind of a, a weird, in-your-face kind of metal band. And I liked them a lot, and it's because of that that I really, really like these guys. I wish they would get out on tour so I could see them live, but it doesn't appear that they're doing that anytime soon. Now, the album that, that they released was called Endless Computer, but as it turns out, they just released a live disc called Live Technorat Attack, and it was actually just released this week. So, 
if you don't get to see them, you can at least listen to what they sound live. And uh, it's actually not that bad. The mix is a little off, but fuck it. Now, like I said, these guys aren't going to get out and tour anytime soon, which sucks because in this climate, we are in desperate need of good sounding bands that sound like this. So, that said, do check out their Bandcamp page. Do check out their label page because they are on Nuclear Nuclear War Now Records. And uh, also go to their Facebook page. Give them a like. Ah. That's it for this week's episode of The Underground Bunker. I invite you once again to like and subscribe. You have to do it this week because I'm injured and I'm doing a show anyway. I'm doing it for you guys. Like, subscribe, check out all the bands. They deserve your love. They deserve your attention. And you know what? They deserve your fucking money because all their music is fucking awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, please do check out the Spotify playlist, which gets longer at every week because we add every band that I feature on this show every week. So do check out Spotify because I know you all have that. Do check out the website, bloodrockmedia.com. And if you want your stuff reviewed, check it, it, get, with, uh, get with us. And uh, if you've got 54 extra minutes, please do check out The Toxic Dream. It is my personal musical project. I uh, arrange, compose, and perform everything, and it's a metal project that I think you'd like. Do check it out. I will leave you... Uh, ah. I will leave you with this remark, and it's something that I feel very deeply about. We all, in this day and age, have become complacent and accessory to a plague. A plague of indifference and in a day and age where we all claim to love art we are not loving art certainly not enough art deserves your affection art deserves your ears your eyes your nose your everything because art is life and music is art get out there and enjoy the party I'm Hobbs and I'm out of here <laughs>